I gotta get my shit together. It's, uh, that's also what I say when I have diarrhea, but that's a really disgusting joke that shows you where I am. I am like obsessed with talking about sex. I apologize if it's not your thing, but like, come on, it's like so fun. And uh, like, we're all having sex, but we don't really like talk about it. Like, we'll be like, oh yeah, I've had sex before. Like, we'll admit that, but we won't be like, oh yeah, I've been like, Ugh. but that's like what you look like. No one admits that. They're like, no, I look cooler. No, you don't. You're just like, Ugh. like that's just a bunch of like skin, like shaking. It's so gross. And you all look like it. We all do. But like, the only thing that like differentiates us is like we put on clothes and we're like, nope, I've never done that. What's going? Like, as soon as you're not naked, you can be like, no, I don't do that. What are you talking about? I'm a princess. Like that's what's separating us is just clothes. Like you can give like a sloppy blowjob and put on like some jeans and a tank top and be like, I've never sucked a in my life, what are you talking about? <laughs> nope, not me. And it's like, yes, you have. If you want a tank top, male or female, you've sucked some <laughs> Like, that's just a fact of tank tops, I think. Yeah. Pregnant women are my favorite, because you're like, I know you doing it. Like, <laughs> hey, you got stuffed. You got stuffed. Like, you know it. And, uh, and then you, oh, you can find out like exactly when she had sex. Like all you have to do is ask like, when are you due or pretend you care or whatever. And then <laughs> you just do some light math and you count back nine months and you're like, July. You were just like, oh, oh, oh. Like in July, you were getting it. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like I love that. That's the thing about being pregnant. Like, you, if you tell your parents you're pregnant, like, you're pretty much like, Dad, Chris inside me. Come here. <laughs> I kept it in. <laughs> like, that's... I love getting fingered. It's my favorite um, sexual act. I think it's because I don't really masturbate, so I like to outsource it. And it's the greatest. Are you guys into it? Yeah? No one? Okay, just me? I love it. Lately, fingering styles are bumming me out, and I think that's why a lot of you are just like, no, not so much anymore. Because there's finger banging going on and finger blasting. It's just like this aggressive thing we're getting a lot. It's just like, it's, it's like, fr is this fracking? Is that what fracking is? I've heard a lot about it, and I'm ready to write my congresswoman. I am so, it's rampant. A lot of you I can sense are like, what's wrong with that? It's, um, it's, it doesn't, it either feels like nothing or it hurts. And uh, that sound that we make, that, mm, that's not like a pleasure, that's a pain sound. So, slight distinction. It's just this, and it's, you don't need, even need to be in there. You can just, just, and if you are, just the gentle, the hook, the, I know what you did last summer, the, um, the, here, kitty kitty, like you're trying to coax a cat out from under a bed or something, like, here, But yeah, and I would just stick to the clit, and I know that word is like, stick, it's gross, but, um, <laughs> nature, uh, but yeah, I would just stick to that, and I know it's like, where is it? But we'll like find it for you, and just be like, there. And it's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> Mine's striped, so that does help. And um, and then you just hone in on it like you're playing a game of Fruit Ninja. Have you played that game? If you haven't, I just want to tell you it's a fingering training tool developed by the Japanese, and you like swipe fruit, and uh, there's a part where a pomegranate comes up, and that's what I'm talking about. Do you want to just like scrub it really quickly like this? And you're trying to get like a 37 is where you're trying to aim for. And, and this will change the way you see kids playing that game, and I apologize for that. On the way here tonight, there was a 13-year-old, and I was like, oh, God, like, he had good styles. Sex is so weird. And it's like, it's the easiest of everything. For a while, I was like, I'll keep my number down if I don't have sex. I'll just do everything except sex, all but sex, all but sex. And that's all I did for about a month. <laughs> don't recommend it. Um, no, it's the other stuff that stresses me out, like, um, like blowjobs uh, cause me a lot of anxiety. Cause I hear complaints, not like about me, but in general, like I hear about like too much teeth. Like I read on Yelp that you guys, um, <laughs> like the teeth thing, like you don't like that we have teeth and we're working on it. Science is on it. 
I quit flossing recently. My dentist recommended it uh, after I blew him. And so, <laughs> here's the thing. I have always had big teeth. It's probably the reason I'm a comedian. Before I got braces, I had buck teeth. And in middle school, people used to be like, Glazer, you're a beaver. And I'd be like, a vagina? And they were like, what? No, the gross animal in the, why are you excited about being a vagina? <laughs> it's like, I'm just, just psyched someone's talking to me. And then I'd go cry. So I have a complex about my teeth, and they're still big, so I told my friends this before I gave a blowjob, I'm like, I'm gonna scrape some D, I know it. And <laughs> they, yeah, it's the bad kind of S-ing D. Um, I, t I did, I asked my friends for advice, and they gave me the worst, they were like, just, no, you won't be bad, just go like that when you do it, and cover those dick scrapers up. <laughs> I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I started doing that all, not all over town, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I went from town to town. It was like a tour that I did and um, <laughs> wasn't getting any callbacks for the toothless turtle blow job. <laughs> not a popular look. I didn't know you guys like watched us. I kind of thought we were like on our own down there. And, until one time a guy was like, hey, Nick, uh, you kind of look like my Nana right now and it's <laughs> freaking me out. I haven't called her in a while. And I didn't hear him. I was like, what's that, Sonny? And his name was Sonny. It was just a coincidence. Um, so then he complained. And so then I gave him a hand job and then he complained about that. He's like, you're still using too much teeth. I was like, what are you talking about? This is a hand job. And he said, I know, stop smiling at me. And I thought, you're right. That is too much teeth. I got excited. I, I thought I was doing it right. I don't love porn. I watch it sometimes mainly for tips. Like I'm always looking for like new tricks I can try, you know? Especially when it comes to blowjobs, I'm always like, I feel like I'm not very good at them. So I'm always like, I'll check out a blowjob video on like the front page, like something very mild. I'll be like, okay, this seems cool. And I'll just take some notes. Like what are these gals gagging about? And just like, hmm. And you learn some things. You're like, oh, okay, use both hands. I can do that and that seems cool. All right. Look terrified. All right, I'll give it a whirl. Wouldn't be the first time, you know? <laughs> It'd be fun to revisit. Okay. Choke to death. Perfect. Okay. That's how I'm gonna go then. Like, it's like violent stuff on the front page. You don't even have to dig for the stuff. Every porno is just like, oh, oh, it's like a girl just like dying. When did this happen? I feel like I took a break from porn and then it's all just slobber now. It's like, these girls have so much saliva and I'm like, I don't have that much. Like, it's making me insecure. I'm like, these bitches look like St. Bernard's. Like, I don't have this like frothy, foamy strands. I'm like, do I need an extra gland or something? Like what? Uh -huh. I gotta be wet up here now? Like, it's just too much. I don't know why I'm eager to have sex again because I don't think I'm good at it. I recently had to have phone sex uh, to talk down my Verizon bill and um, <laughs> do what you gotta do. And uh, I'm not good at it. I'm, uh, cause you have to like it, be creative in the moment. It comes out of nowhere, like talk dirty. And I'm like, I have a vagina, just like stating facts. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just laying here. Bye. And that's all I did. Because that's all I did. That's all I do. I just lay back and get it. <laughs> Girls, you can kind of just lay there, can't you? Have you? Being on bottom, it's, it's the tops down there. It's awesome. <laughs> it's enough that you're there most of the time. It's great. I treat it like a massage. I recommend it. <laughs> and yes, they'll sometimes they'll ask you to participate, and you should. You know, if you bought you dinner at Chili's or something, uh, you should wiggle, you know. That two for 20, that'll get you. But, um, <laughs> that's... That's embarrassing. I, I remember once this guy was giving me a really good raw drink and at some point, yeah, I'm bringing that back. <laughs> sounds classy, right? Good raw drink. It sounds like he courted me or something. <laughs> he did it. it. Sounds like I knew his name and it uh, wasn't Roger. Uh, it was Phil, but saying he gave me a good filling doesn't have quite the connotation that I like. So raw drink sounds nice. 
Because that's the thing. Girls, we can't be like, I got We have to like come up with like euphemisms. My least favorite of which is uh, fooled around. Let's stop saying that. My friend the other day was like, Josh and I, we just fooled around. I'm like, ugh, what did he like, get your nose? Did you guys like get in a tickle fight? Did he pull a quarter out of your vagina at some point? Oh, he did, okay. Well then, that's fooling around. There you have it. Oh, God. Yeah, I was getting a good rogering from this fellow, and in the middle of it, he, I remember he was like, hey, will you get on top? And I was like, would you? Like, he woke me up. I'm like, let's go on top. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> That's the worst. Being on top, have you been up there? Ugh. I give it up to you guys for being up there most of the time. I had no, I didn't sign up for a spinning class when I agreed to <laughs> you. Why is it so exhausting up there? My legs go numb. I'm wheezing. It's a lot of sweat. It's not, I finally get why you sweat all over us. That's always perplexed me. It seems like a lot of sweat for two and a half minutes or whatever's going on up there, but I'm on board. I'll support you now. I'll sponsor you. What is it? The change in elevation or something? It's awful up there. I keep cliff bars on the nightstand now. I don't like it. I'm so lazy. I just, oh, I give up up there after a couple seconds. If I'm up there, he's already given up. So then we just look at each other like, now what? And that's when you break out the old side sex. Have you done that? Or you just, it's the laziest, just so gross. It's, it's how you finish, it definitely is. No effort involved. You always pat yourself on the back afterwards, like in the post-sex rap, like, what was that last thing we did? That was wild. We should contact Kama Sutra and let them know. Oh, you mean the two dead cows on the side of the road? <laughs> that old classic. I just can't have kids. I'm, I mean, I, well, I hope I can't. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you know. <laughs> oh God, I hope I'm barren. I, um, if I'm not, I'm gonna name my firstborn Baron. I think it's a beautiful name for a little girl. No, I'm, I'm good about it. I take the pill um, when I remember, so that's not how you're supposed to take it. A lot, my friend was like, why don't you do it like a diaphragm? And I'm like, are you from the 80s? Like, what's going on? I didn't really do my research on the diaphragm. I should have asked my grandma about it, but she uses a pull-out method, so... <laughs> I've always heard about the diaphragm on like old episodes of Seinfeld and Antiques Roadshow, and I'd never seen one, so I Google imaged it, and um, the image that came up, I don't know if you guys have seen a diaphragm, but they look exactly like that, that toy we used to get as kids, that little rubber thing you flip, then you like set it on something and you wait, and then it like pops. I don't even know what those are called. I think they're diaphragms, guys. Yeah, I don't know how you put them in. That seems weird. Maybe you would just flip it and then set it down and then like hover over it and like wait. And I do have a boyfriend, but um, we broke up for two weeks, but we're back together, so it's gonna last. And um, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know the real me yet. I feel like we're like six months in, so I'm still lying about who I am, kind of holding it in like a fart uh, comes out at night, you know? I'm like, it was just a quave. Um, it's not what you think it was. Um, he thinks I'm like, you know, just this, I'm being this version of a girl that he's gonna fall in love with. Like, I'm clean and, and nice, and I've never done anal. Like, I'm just like this pure, and I have. Uh, <laughs> Not like a ton, but like he asked me if I've done it, and of course I said no. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I'm a huge butt whore. I'm not gonna like, you have to say, never done it. And I know a lot of people in here are like, no, I would never do it, because I used to be that way, and then I did coke. And <laughs> no. You are missing out. You should do it, but if you don't wanna do it, girls, I, instead of being like, no, it's gross, I think you should go the other way and like seem super into it like two into it. That's the, that's the best, just be like, yeah, we should. And I think I would love it, because I like love pooping. 
So if you say it that way, like really sell it. I know it's gross, but be like, I love it going out, so I'll probably love it going in. Like, get in there, cowboy. Call him cowboy. Just freak him out. He'll leave you, so you'll never have to do it. I've only had really two serious boyfriends in my life, and the, the first one definitely uh, did not say it on his own. He, um, he was a blackout drunk with a twin bed, and um, that second part's not really that important. I just kind of want to paint a picture. Um, he had a twin bed. He was 30 with a twin bed, and I would be like, can you upgrade to a full so I feel like a woman? And um, that's all it takes, you know? And, and he was like, no, it's an extra long twin. I was like, ooh, a California twin. Wow, am I... <laughs> Rihanna, Jesus. So he, uh, he would get blackout drunk all the time. We were long distance. He would, make, he would get caught making out with girls in bars back home where I was from. My friends would see him. They'd call me, tell me about it. I'd call him the next day and be like, what the f And he was like, I thought it was you. And I was like, aw. Like I was flattered. Like, was she skinny? Like, ugh. So he was worse. He came to visit me for Valentine's Day, and I was like, oh my God, he's so gonna say, I love you, this is the trip. And I got ready, I told all my friends, I'm like, this is it, and it was a great night. Like, we went to this fancy dinner that I paid for, and then we were like in this alley, and like, I was rubbing his back as he vomited, and it was just like everything I'd wanted. And <laughs> he just got really sick and passed out, and I was like, oh my God. Like, he didn't say, I love you. I think he may have said, I hate you. It's like, it was the worst time. But I was like, wait a second, when he gets blackout drunk, he doesn't remember anything he does or says. So I'll just make last night whatever I want it to be. So this is true. I, I woke him up the next morning and I was like, hey, do you remember what you said to me last night? He was like, no, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, no, you told me you love me. And he was like, I did? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay. <laughs> That's it. He started saying it after that. That's. I date raped my boyfriend into loving me. That's what I did. Thank you so much. I took back the night.